Um, for I keep thinking this is YouTube, this is IG television. Yeah, so yeah, welcome to my IG TV channel. Alright, my mom said Copa Ashe 555. That's my life path. Vanilla chai, yes. Um, some vanilla chai. It is so bomb, you guys. It has clove in there, cinnamon. It's very spicy, but really, really nice. Very, very nice. Um, sick. Okay, so I know what our old Virgos deal with other Virgos. I know I did a reading. It was pretty long. I know I did a reading where it was like, um, let me make sure I uh, get a copyright on the phone. Financial difficulties, which was, which was what was 
the main things that was keeping them away, because they was caught up with karmics, right? Karmic, uh, karmic holes, right? Male or female holes. And um, they had some financial difficulties, okay? So Eight of Pentacles, um, in the past, they had some financial uh, difficulties, uh, had some, probably had some problems at the job. Not them appreciate their job, something happened with their job between them and their co-workers, something's going on with the job where they, where they feel like they have to quit or they want to give up at their job, okay? Not putting that much effort or something. Something's going on with the job or with their finances. Um, but if things are going to turn around soon because uh, there is um, those, if your Virgo person is working in family business, if there's some type of family inheritance, maybe probably due to a death, possibly, hopefully not, but maybe due to a death in a family that there's some type of inheritance or something, there's something that they're entitled to. Um, if, they, if, they, if they're in a family business where, where families in business with each other, um, it could be fruitful for them, so things could turn around for them in a positive manner. This also means building legacies. That your Virgo person ultimately wants to build a legacy for them. Ultimately want to build a legacy for you. All right. Next, we got the Tree of Swords next to the Tree of Cups. Third party situations, okay? I hate, I know you guys get tired of hearing that shit, but hey. Hey. So, they feel very heartbroken, okay? They're in a transitional stage right now to death count with the death uh, part. So they feel, very, they feel very heartbroken, okay? All right, you guys may feel heartbroken towards each other, like you broke my heart. No, I mean, you broke my heart. No, you broke my heart. Okay, uh, and this can be due to I asked to clarify the tree of, of swords, and I got the tree of cups. Two three, so that indicates third party situation. Uh, people uh, meddling in your business. This could be family. This could be friends that could be against your union with your verbal person. They could be against your verbal person being with you. Okay, so your verbal person could be listening to other people, listening to friends, um, listening to their other karmic holes. And you know, karmics can come in many different forms. You can have karmic family members, karmic friends, karmic coworkers. You can hang out with a bunch of people that are karmics, right? And they could be trying to like sabotage the connection or encourage you to sabotage the connection. And I feel like for some of y'all, Virgos that's dealing with Virgos, I feel like your Virgo person is listening to the gossip. Or they could be going through gossip right now. They could be having people speaking bad speaking bad about them because of their finances or whatever. And they're heartbroken at this time. It could be that too. But I'm all but I'm also getting for some other Virgos dealing with other Virgos, right? Uh, definitely third party situations. Them getting caught up with, with uh, their uh, third party holes and stuff like that. Um, since it's in reverse, right? Their, their options are definitely giving them trouble. They have karmics that are dragging their feet, karmics that are getting them in trouble, causing them a lot of heartache at this time. Okay? They're not really, you know, not really too impressed uh, with their options. I mean, they're exercising them. Um, but at the same time, it's like they're not really fucking with them like that. Their options ain't fucking with them like that. A lot of gossip, a lot of meddling people, um, and things of that nature, okay? Um, at the bottom part of the deck, before I get to these four right here, um, I asked what was Virgo's message, uh, Virgo's person message for their Virgo, right? I got the Ace of Cups, which is what I got yesterday. These main two cups here. So them closing out a situation, trying to build a legacy, trying to overcome heartache due to a third party situation, okay? Got feelings for you is the Ace of Cups. I mean, they got feelings for you. I got feelings for you. What's wrong with your teeth, Mark? So wrong teeth. No, I got feelings for you. Oh, feelings! <laughs> Y'all remember that? Or hanging on Mr. Cooper? <laughs> when he finally told Holly Robinson Pete that he had feelings for her. So they got feelings for you. A verbal person got feelings for you. Your cup runneth over. A lot of emotions, okay, with this cup. This is a very positive card. It's like a, they, they have a lot of passion, a lot of love for you, okay? We also got the Ace of Wands card. Dig in your hand. So they're very, very, very passionate about you, okay? Uh, we got the Ten of Wands, right? I want you guys to take a look at this, right? You got this person here, bungee jumping. This is my bungee jumping card. You got to look for the bungee jumping and shit for their love, okay? So what I'm getting is that uh, one person, between Virgo and Virgo, one person is feels like they're overburdened trying to prove how much they care about this person, right? They're 
working hard to go towards this cup of love because they know there's a beautiful love, a love that's going to make them forget about all the others, make them forget about all the others, make them forget about their heartbreak. Right? Ten is a new beginning. After having such a difficult time trying to search for the love that you've been deserving, Virgo. Virgos, you deserve love, y'all. You deserve love. And I see you guys bungee jumping and shit, skydiving and shit, uh, running through through rakes of coal, jumping through rings of fire to try to get to this love because you know that this love is so good. And you know that it, that you deserve it. After everything that you've been through, you know that you deserve it. All right? Um, so that's why I was noticing with this card when I see Sophia carrying these bag of sticks, taking everything that they have with them and trying to go towards this love. They're trying to get to you, whether you're a Virgo person. For some of you guys, congratulations if it applies to you. Your Virgo person is trying to get to you. They, they gather everything up. Dealing with all of this, you know, dealing with meddling family, meddling friends, people trying to encourage them to stop them. Remember in past readings, what I did um, about, you know, twin flames and all this other stuff, for those who subscribe to that school of thought, I said they were caught up with comics and they were, and, and the comics were doing, you know, black magic to try to keep them away from each other, to keep these two people away from each other. It doesn't have to be very much, but I was saying that in the past reading. To keep them away from each other using magic, mystical means, dragging their feet, that kind of thing. So this is symbolizing what the Virgo is going through, and they're trying to get to this. They're trying to get to you, okay? They're trying to get to you with the Ace of Cups. Because this, like I said, this love is a healing. This is a love is a healing that's going to make you forget about heartache, make you forget about your problems, your issues, or whatever. That as soon as you come, as soon as you you come, you get to this cup of love, it's like this person is just waiting for you. They're holding their emotions for you, and the emotions are falling. You see how the cup is running over full of emotions? They can barely contain their emotions for you. And I feel like the feeling is mutual here. Ace of Wands, there's going to be a, a, a dig in the hand, so obviously there's a lot of sexual passion and things of that nature. And I also feel with the Ace of Wands, there's going to be an opportunity where they're going to come towards you, right? They're taking that, trying to possibly grow into things, not only just sex, but like sex, but the passion, but you see these little plants coming out of it? They also want to make something out of it. Set of pentacles, they want to build a legacy with them, all right? The next card is the sun card. Most happiest card in the deck. I feel like once they get out of their situation, get out of their rut, this is what's coming towards the both of you. Is happiness, feeling liberation, to finally be free. To be free from all of your toxic connections, all of the, all of the, all of the distractions and the negative media and everything like that. I feel like when you guys finally reunite, your cup's gonna run it over. You're almost towards the finish line. It's gonna be a new beginning, right? And this new beginning is going to be a happy, happy beginning. But this came out after the Tree of Wands, so it means that they're not ready. They're not quite ready. This is your Apply Yourself Smoky card. Apply Yourself Smoky in a reverse. This is the card saying that they're not quite ready yet to come towards you. But if we're talking about in terms of time, uh, in the last reading, I determined nine days, and this one is three days. So within three to nine days, you should be hearing something uh, from them from the Ace of Wands, okay? Nine of Cups, perfection. Nine of Cups is nine is completion, okay? Karmic completion. So after they wrap up whatever they're finished wrapping up and done got over, whatever they're getting over, we have the Nine of Cups. Now I forgot to mention these two, these uh, last three cards at the bottom, since we already established these already. I feel like with the Tower card in reverse and the Ten of Wands right next to it, and then we got the Five of Wands in reverse right next to it, yes? So I feel like with these three cards, right, I feel like, um, they're trying hard to get to your love. At the same time, they're not trying to bring any type of tower moment or calamity or bullshit your way. Because I feel like they know, they know how you rest. They know your energy now, I feel like. If they're like your twin, they know your energy. They know that they can't bring certain shit towards your motherfucking way. Like this shit right here, the third party shit, they already know if they got, you know, um, if they got like, you know, catch arounds and like people that still hanging on their they testicles or hanging on their they nipple. They don't want to bring all of that towards your do doorstep, okay? They definitely, they're carrying, they're carrying burdens. They're about to release their burdens and run towards you with their cup of love. And you have your cup of love and you're waiting for them. They're waiting for you. However, 
they don't want to bring the talent situation. They trying to prevent drama, okay, with their third parts. So they know they got mixed up um, with a bunch of ain't shit ass motherfuckers, I guess. And so they trying to prevent any type of problems or issues. They don't want no beef with you, Virgo. The Virgo person don't want no beef. They ain't got no more fighting them left with the air principles. Now, you know what I'm saying? They not really, uh, you know, they just gave up on the connection. They're in a transition period with death card. Possibly it could be dealing with a Scorpio. And you, maybe one of you, some of y'all that are dealing with Virgo, they probably ended their relationship with a Scorpio. No longer wants to be a part of the um, connection, okay? And they want to build their legacy elsewhere. All right. <clears throat> All right. So emotional fulfillment. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me go to the bottom. Yeah. So basically, they don't want no beef. So they trying to prevent drama. They don't want to bring no drama towards your door, which is the reason why they kind of take it a little bit long. If you're in separation, they they have respect for you to the point where it's like they don't want to sabotage it in a way by bringing drama towards your door because they know if they bring drama to you that you're going to shut them out like you shut everybody else out. Virgos know how other fucking Virgos get down. So that's why I kind of really don't understand how Virgos would do other Virgos in because I kind of feel like you a sellout if you do that shit. If you're a Virgo and you go to another Virgo in, you already know how they feel, you already know how they think, you already know how they rest. For the most part, because it's not all it's not all astrology. It's coupled with our life experiences. And also there's other aspects in your in your chart that might make you might make your waters a little bit more murkier than others, okay? Might make it a little bit more messier than the next Virgo. But well, Virgo should definitely understand Virgo. We understand that we live in our head a lot. And so we think about multiple situations, especially with this third party situation here. You feel me? Dealing with heartache and absolute ruin. And this can be done due to third parties, due to family, due to meddling family, due to meddling friends. They don't want to bring that shit towards you, okay? That's what they're struggling with right now. Follow on to the reverse so that there is competition. You see that? Conflict. This is about conflict and competition. So this other option, there's, there's a lot of conflict between them and their options at this time. There's some heart, heartbreak. You may have to break a couple of hearts. You got groups of people watching. Remember, uh, when I think about this part, I also think about blogs, uh, internet, you know, social media, social, social party. So I feel like, uh, you know, um, that you can have third party there. You can have Virgo, you can have your Virgo person, like their karmics, their options, watching you on social media, gossiping, trying to throw a monkey wrench in y'all shit, okay? And this person is trying to prevent, to prevent everything from spilling over. They are conflicted at this moment with the uh, five of ones in reverse and the two of ones in reverse also, meaning that they're out there, they're not ready, okay? They're not ready to um, come towards you just yet, but it's almost getting to that point, okay? We're getting closer, we're getting closer to that point. Um, there is some conflict there going on between them and their options, them and their third party situation. They probably want to close out this third party situation with the karmic. The karmic's like dragging their feet, like, nah, 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 bitch, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> I don't know what you think you're about to do. You ain't finna go off and be happy without me, bitch. That type of shit. You ain't finna go out there and be happy without me, nigga. Oh, that type of shit. They done got themselves in a pickle by about, okay? Probably girl with some stalkers and shit like that, you know. Um, but anyways, like I said, with the five with the five of wands in reverse, a lot of conflict, a lot of competition. You may have had this person trying to uh, juggle you with other type of with other women, with other people, and now they the people that they go to you for is giving them a lot of grief. Okay, a lot of grief, but now they're thinking about you. You know what I'm saying? This is what they want with you. You know, they want the ace of wands, they want the sun, they want the six of cups, they want the ace of cups, they want the ten of pentacles. Lastly, we got the lover's card. So this is the end game here, okay, for the Virgos, the other Virgos. Definitely the, um, your, your angelic, there's angelic guidance here. Like your, um, your spirit guides and their spirit guides, they know what's up. They know what's been going on. They take you to a card. They know exactly what's going on. They're overseeing everything, and they're going to make sure that you guys reunite, no matter what the fuck is being thrown your way. The third party, um, the black magic, the, um, the, the stalking, the spying, you know, the backfighting, the backpedaling, the sneaky shit, you feel me? They, they see all that, and they're like, you know what, regardless, they can't stop what's divine. If it's meant for you to reunite with your Virgo, it's going to fucking happen. So I want Virgos to know when you're a Virgo, it's going to happen. All right? Just be patient.
I feel like some of you guys do want to give up with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse because you're heartbroken. You feel like there is third parties, and yeah, for a lot of y'all, it is. It is third party. And it's not just always romantic third parties. It's other people, other influences around them that are telling them that this person isn't good enough for them, or, they, or maybe they feel like they're not good enough for that person. But the end game is this right here. The end game is this. So your spirit guides, your ancestors are watching over everything. They're going to remove the kinks. They're slowly but surely removing the kinks. Everything's about to be complete. I'm going to show you how. Everything's about to be complete. And you guys are about to come together. All right? The lover's card. Two become one. It's a very positive card. Also with the ace of cups. So the, there's, there's love there. There's passion there. There's just a lot of fucking drama. A lot of fucking delays. And just kind of like feeling like you want to give up. There's a lot of like emotional and mental instability going on at this time due to other external forces. Okay? But once those get squared away, your angels, okay, are going to, your angels are going to make sure that you guys reunite. Period. You can't stop what's divine. You can't stop it. And I feel like uh, for a lot of them, for a lot of you guys out there, that their karmics, their options are trying to stop. They see what's, they already see the, their person, that your Virgo person, pulling away from them. Pulling away from them. And so now they're focused on their money, building a legacy, getting themselves together, liberating themselves, and look what's going to happen, you know? That's what's coming towards you. This is a positive card. That's what's coming towards you. So we are Virgo. This is your moon message, okay, Virgos? Dealing with other Virgos. So I feel like um, uh, you guys are both in a uh, hermit mode, leaving the hustle and bustle behind, centering yourself, okay? Connecting with spirit, connecting with your spirit guide. Some of you guys may have cats that are spirit guide. Some of your Chinese zodiac may be a cat. Some of you guys may have gotten into meditation. You started leaning on to your, your spirituality to kind of like, to help you through. Because some of you feel like you want to give up, so you're kind of leaning on your spirituality. Or leaning on your religion, seeking a, um, a therapist or seeking a, a spiritual worker or something like that to help you. I see a lot of you guys meditating, going by the park, going by the beach, going by the lake or whatever, by the pond and just meditating and disconnecting, okay? So I feel like a lot of Virgos are disconnecting and just pretty much focus on building their legacy, okay? Building their coins, working in their family business, collecting family inheritance. Um, so they're going to be coming into money. So you guys, if you're a Virgo person, Virgos, Virgos, y'all going to be coming into money, okay? And that's going to help kind of like, you know, get you to kind of distract you and help you to work on yourself and get yourself together, okay? All right, so the, you guys, like I said, some y'all could be dealing with meddling family that you work with and things like that, and you uh, could have been dealing with a situation where you got betrayed by someone in your family, okay? That's what, what your Virgo could be possibly going through, all right? So, yeah, this is about just really getting into yourself, you know what I'm saying? Um, getting into yourself and, you know, not bungee jumping anymore. You know what they got feelings for you. You know if there's some shit going on. All right, so nothing you can really do, but I guess play the waiting game for those who choose to play the waiting game. But I see some of y'all really ain't trying to wait. Y'all just like, fuck it. You, you just hit me up when you're ready. I'm just fucking do me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, I think this situation has forced you to be patient, has forced you to not live in your own head, which is hard for Virgos to do, is to live in your own head. And it's crazy, right? I had a Virgo tell me, get out of your head. And I'm like, nigga, you get out your head, okay? Because it's like, <laughs> we can't help but live in our heads. We go over a million scenarios and how we're gonna go about it. We hurt our own feelings with scenarios, with shit that ain't that even fucking happened yet, okay? So we have to be careful with our thoughts. So this is about centering your thoughts and uh, going into yourself, going within. Meditating, getting messages from spirit. All right. For the numerology messages, I have domestic harmony, 46. That equals 10. That equals one. So that's a new, a new beginning. 
okay? This is um, having a better home life, so maybe your Virgo person, you may not have had the best home life, um, especially if they're dealing with meddling family or friends or whoever that they're around. I see, I see a new beginning for them, domestic harmony, okay? Um, where things are going to be a lot better at home, where things have been shaky at home. Maybe you might, maybe your Virgo person may have find a, a steady home very soon, and they're going to have a new beginning, probably because with help with this money, all right? Forgiveness, all right? Forgiveness, forgiveness. 9 plus 6 equals 15. 1 plus 5 equals, uh, I mean, 9 plus 6 equals, um, damn, I'm, I'm silly right now. 15, 1 plus 5 equals 6, okay? All right, so it's about forgiveness. To forgive yourself, okay? When you're in meditation, forgive yourself. Some of you guys might be regretting the connection with the Eight of Pentacles. Could be listening to negative chatter and things like that, okay? Because you feel like the Ten of Wands, you feel like you're carrying a lot of burdens on your back. Trying to run for a love, trying to run for a cup of love. Maybe you might feel like your Virgo person is carrying a carrot over the stick and you just run for it. And maybe at some point you're tired of bungee jumping, you feel me? So I want you guys to forgive that person because it's not personal. Forgive yourself. You know, go with it, forgive yourself, you feel me? Forgive yourself, forgive the situation. Forgive the person. I know that it's easier said than done. There's a lot of shit going on, a lot of external forces that are stopping you guys. So just focus in on yourself. Um, and then we have nine here, nine, completion, karmic completion. Again, we're seeing the nine of cups here, and then we see the nine. This is the end of the cycle and the beginning of a new one. All right, so I'm going to um, take out the book, and let me see. Let me take out the numerology book. And we're going to read the domestic harmony one. So, so for the domestic harmony, it says this card indicates a time of healing your relationships and healing your home, okay? So there's going to be a change, which is going to be healing. You guys are in a transition. You guys are going out with the old, in with the new. You guys understand the toxic attachments that you have that are stopping you from divine connection, and you're going to be slipping them off, all right? This may relate to a troubled relationship with your child, with your family member. Remember I talked about trouble with family? Trouble regarding your children, for those who have children, uh, those who are married, couples, whatever. This could be an ex, this could be a current partner. You, you have to heal your relationship. So that means you also have that, your verbal person also have to forgive their karmic as well. They're going to have to forgive them and accept that it's over. That karmic is going to have to forgive your verbal person and accept that it's over in order for them to have domestic harmony, especially when there's children involved, okay? All right, this can also apply to a house guest and a roommate, okay? So it can even relate to problems that you may have had with the actual house that you live in. So that's what I mean, domestic harmony, okay? Some of you guys, some purpose may have had an unstable home, you feel me? And now things are going to start to stabilize, you know, things will be more peaceful. You know, maybe they're dealing with problems at home and that person moved out or something or they moved out, you know? All right, so this means your difficulties are being resolved and domestic happiness is within your reach. That means you're almost getting towards the finish line of closing out karma cases. So maybe they're probably at a point where they're trying to make peace and forgive themselves and, and close things out without it being too, too messy. All right, so this card can indicate a time to make a commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and your desire to take things to the next level, okay? All right, they're trying to get to you, all right? So it's also a real a need to commit to your present residence by extending your lease, deciding not to sell your home, maybe deciding not to move, maybe they thought about moving and decided not to move, or making necessary improvements to your home, making necessary improvements to your relationship, all right? Trying to turn it into something perfect, all right? There's no such thing as a perfect relationship, a perfect family, a perfect home, all right? Domestic harmony can only be achieved Effort, compassion, compromise, okay, and forgiveness. Let's go to forgiveness. A lot of relationship changes, a lot of healing, getting into spirituality, okay. 
forgiveness. This is a card that's telling you, again, to forgive yourself and others for any past actions. So in order to close out your karmic cases, because your, your, your verbal person is going through uh, transition, in order to close out these karmic cases, they're going to have to forgive. And you will have to forgive, too, if you're watching this video, verbal person. you got to forgive the past yourself for what you have allowed. Because, you know, we have a verbal, we have pride. We feel like if we overextend ourselves, because we extend ourselves and we don't get reciprocation, we be like, fuck it, you ain't never gonna fucking hear from me again, you know, that type of thing, and you, and it can kind of make you a little resentful, because we want people to appreciate us, and we want people to appreciate our, our energy, our love, our, our connection, and when we feel like we're not, it's not being reciprocated, it's definitely an ego bruise, of course, right, it's an ego bruise, it makes you feel bad, and things like that, it makes you more resentful, you know, so I want you guys to forgive yourself, for anybody that may have caused you pain and to heal, again, the word heal, heal any unresolved anger, hate, jealousy, resentment, or guilt, because it's blocking your success with the eight of pentacles, making you want to give up, all right, so you got to forgive yourself for the sake of your health and for the sake of your future happiness, okay, don't you want to be the sun card, don't you want to be the lover's card, don't you want the nine of cups, don't you want, you know, emotional fulfillment, okay, what are you going to have to do?
finding yourself having those feelings, I want you to try to talk yourself out of them. I understand that we're all souls have the human experience. Just when you got to catch yourself, you got to do that sometimes. Because we are still human. And you sometimes you got to just catch yourself and be like, you know what? That's their shit. This is my shit. I'm going to just work on myself and get myself ready for this divine connection. Because nothing is going to stop you guys from reuniting. Nothing is going to stop it. So during this downtime, you can work this downtime on working on yourself, okay? And forgiving your past, okay? Because if you keep reliving the past heartbreak and how they hurt you, you're just going to attract more people that are going to hurt you. And I know it's more easier said than done, but you have to really try to be as positive as you can. When you're able to forgive and let go, you can make your dreams come true. All right, and the last one is nine. Uh, completion just to drive the point point home. All right, let's see. Hmm. All right, so we got nine completion. This card indicates the time of necessary endings. Okay, remember endings, death card, necessary endings. Things that have to end for things to begin. You're being encouraged to let go of the old, make way for the new. This may uh, relate to a particular mindset. Maybe the way that we've been thinking, Virgo, has been attracting a lot of negative things to us. Because we don't trust people, we're, atta we're attracting a lot of people that we don't trust. And then when we come along with somebody, we're so used to being around, uh, we're so used to having a general distrust that when we are in the presence of divinity, when we're in the presence of someone who actually has the same energy as you, right? Being a Virgo and then being a Virgo, Having your trauma, them having their trauma, your ego versus their ego, their shadow self, their inner child versus your shadow self, your inner child. When you when you look at all of that, like there's a lot of uh, mindsets, a lot of uh, preconceived notions, a lot of assumptions that come with it. Living in our own heads and shit, like it, it can cause a lot of problems, and we have to change our mindset. What was working for us the way that we thought before, we're gonna have to throw that away. We're gonna have to in order for us to, to really be this lover's card, right? In order for us to really have this divine connection, we gotta let go of everybody and everything that's ever hurt us. So we have to change mindsets, behaviors, relationships, friendships. You might have to even change jobs. You might even have to move, all right? You, get, you have recently, Virgos have recently outgrown a, a relationship, a relationship that was toxic. Something that you don't want to work or work on anymore. You gave up on it. You was trying in the past, but now it's like, okay, I'm done. I'm ready for change. I'm ready to build my legacy elsewhere. Okay? A lot of disharmony, okay? This can indicate a completion of a karmic lesson. Remember I said wrapping up karmic cases? Finally wrapping it up. Three of Wands, so it, it, we get closer, but not quite, all right? Ending a contractual obligation. All right, so you guys could be ending a contractual obligation. Could be um, a, ending a friendship, ending a job contract with a job. Um, this could be having to do with maybe like child support, divorce, you know, some type of obligations. You guys are finally able to reach some type of uh, cordial uh, consensus, and you're just waiting for that to fall through, and then you can kind of move on. All right, but I feel like some of y'all karmic, some of y'all karmic options are not letting y'all move on. Okay, this is the reason for the delay. All right, the mistrust, the heartbreak, the third party situations, all that is, is what's factored into this. Okay, it says have no fear to unknown, for you are being divinely accompanied and guided, right? From, from the angels, right? This card serves as a confirmation that you are definitely on the right path. So surrender yourself to the changes that are occurring and you be led to where you need to be. Spend quiet time alone. Remember with the card uh, Pertho, with the guy meditating? Okay, spend time alone, quietly, to connect with your inner guidance. For the silence, you'll be able to get the uh, you get messages from spirit as far as what the next move to make, okay? So this is about endings and completion. Some things at the end, you gotta let go when no longer serves you. Spread your wings and trust into the divine to show you the way. All right, so that completes the reading. I wanna leave you with the planetary blessing. Today is Thursday, the day of Jupiter. I wanna leave you with the, with the um, planetary blessing, all right? In the power of Jupiter, may thy liberality of spirit be ever as a libation 
poured out before the gods. Again, in the power of Jupiter, may thy liberality of spirit be ever as a libation poured out before the gods. Virgo, you are a motherfucking god. And you've been through a lot, and it's time for you to get the love that you have deserved. And it's time to let go. And I'm telling you, as one Virgo to another, nothing good is going to come to us unless we let go. We have to let go. Even if you have to listen to affirmations and hypnosis, even if you got to hypnotize yourself to think positive and to let go, that's the only way to really start change. You can't claim that you're changing if you haven't forgiven yourself and if you haven't forgiven the past. You can't claim that you're changing if you haven't let go of your toxic attachments. If you haven't forgiven yourself for being heartbroken, forgiving yourself for um, wishing that you never had a connection with someone, feeling like you wasted your time, feeling like people are popping in and out of your life and you're wondering what is the fucking point. And it might make you a little resentful, but understand that everybody is fighting shit that you can't see. Everybody's fighting the storm. Send them positive energy, forgive them. You can be upset and, and you can have that moment and let that moment pass. Don't stay in that moment too long, Virgo. If you feel upset, you feel disappointed, you feel like your love isn't being reciprocated, you feel like you bungee jump your love and being reciprocated or whatever, understand that, that we're all souls having a human experience and everybody going through their own shit. And, and so you just need to get into yourself. You feel me? Get into yourself and forgive yourself. And, and happiness will be for the both of you. Happiness will be for the both of you. But you have to let go of your burdens. And you're almost towards the, the finish line. But the tree of wands is showing that, that you're holding something back. You're you're not you haven't quite applied yourself yet, Smokey. And you need to apply yourself. You're holding yourself back. If you want change, you gotta be the change that you wanna see. If you want people to look at you and say, yo, Virgo evolved, they really have changed. You have to be the fucking change that you want to see. And in order to be that, you have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive others. You have to let go of the toxic people. Not just because you forgive them don't mean you have to fucking be around them anymore. You just wish them well and be on a, and just be on your merry way. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be wrapped up and getting in entanglements. Okay? Getting in these fucking entanglements and shit. You ain't got to do all that. Forgiveness is key. Everything, this shit is about to be over. Okay? In the words of Bobby Hammond, this shit is over. This shit is over. All right? This shit is about to be over. Look at this. It's about to be done. Conflict, all that shit, all that bullshit is about to be pushed out of the way. Because your spirit guide is working on it. So you got to send them positive energy. If you go verbal, then whatever verbal, you send them positive energy, they send you positive energy. When you get feelings of, when you get feelings or whatever, uh, feelings of despair, feelings of negativity, talk yourself out of it. And then you got to talk them out of it. You know, I feel like some of you guys can reach each other telepathically. Some of you guys can talk to each other with your heart. You feel your heart expanding and vibrating. You're pulling on your heart energy. you pull on their heart energy. And just when you're thinking about something, they feel, oh, no, no, no. I got I to gotta quiet that thought, you know? I got to quiet that thought, and I'm going to speak life back into myself, speak life back into this person. Stay strong, because I'm going to stay strong. Don't give up, because if you give up, I'm going to give up too. Eight of Pentacles, in other words, you don't want to give up. Don't fucking give up, Virgo. Understand that you are deserving of love. You're a god. You're deserving of love. We all gods in this bitch. We are deserving of love, and as soon as we are able to forgive ourselves and let go of things that no longer serve us, and just allow spirit to do its thing, everything is going to connect well. Things are going to come together for you. Release the past, Virgos. Release the past. Release the pain. Um, forgive yourself and just watch how things turn around. Watch how things watch how things will come together for you when you actually go within and connect with your spirit guides, connect with your ancestors, your deities, your um, spirit animals. Okay? And that's pretty much what I wanted to say. So thank you very much. Last card, four of wands. It's going to be a celebration when you guys unite, okay? This is also 11-11.
twin flames. Some of you Virgos out there are twin flames to another Virgo. You guys are twins. And when you guys get together, it's going to be so much love, so much fucking joking, okay? A lot of sex, a lot of passion. A lot of passion and a lot of celebration. You guys will be so fucking happy when you guys get together, man. Y'all gonna be so fucking happy. Building legacies together. I'm wishing you well as the tears in my eyes swell. I like that part. It's my favorite part of the song. Uh, what was the line before that? Um, I'm broken in pieces while you're looking for reasons. What I'm broken in pieces while you're looking for reasons not to connect. Looking for reasons not to accept me or not to connect with me. I'm wishing you well as the tears in my eyes swell. But I know that when you guys get together, think, when things finally get stable, because four is about stability. So when things finally get stable, you guys are going to celebrate. It's going to be a huge fucking celebration. A celebration of, of your heart, your mind, your soul. You guys are going to be so happy when you see each other and finally release it. You guys want to make sure that you guys are the best version of yourselves before y'all meet. That's why there's downtime. So don't use this downtime to be negative, to live in your head. Use this downtime to work on yourself. Shoot them good energy. They're going to be working on themselves, shooting you good energy. And when y'all get back together, when y'all link the fuck back up, oh my God, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay? So your angels, your angels, your spiritual counsel, all of them, they all are making sure that this happens. So there is going to be a reuniting. Like I said, between three to nine days, you'll be hearing from uh, this person with the Ace of Wands. They'll be be able to let you know what's going on, what's been overburdening them. Be sure to forgive them. Um, and that, especially if you live with your Virgo, things are going to change positively. If you guys have been arguing with your Virgo and y'all live together, things are going to be changing, okay? All right. So if you guys are looking for your own readings, definitely hit me up. Peace and love and happiness to all of my Virgos out there. Y'all are gods. I love you all. Peace, peace, peace. And I'm out. God love you. God love me. Bye.